Okay, this is a second um, tutorial for Ian Smith at Metro Productions in the UK. Um, he requested that I sh um, show him how he can create an auto CD package from his Mac um, to sort of ape the function that's available in the Microsoft Office 2013 PC package. So I'm here in um, my version of Mac. This is uh, Mac 2000, Office 2011 for Mac. And you'll see I've got the same uh, tutorial from uh, the previous session. So I've got the same slide set up. But what I want to show you now is um, I want to add another slide. So I'm going to um, duplicate this slide so I carry on all the transition stuff based in it. So that's uh, Command D to duplicate that. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add um, a multimedia, some multimedia content. Now I know I've demonstrated how to, how to do all this before, but if you want to make this or set this up as an auto run package, there's a little bit more work to do. So um, before I ins insert this stuff, what I do, what um, to, to make the package presentable um, and work at, on a CD, what we need to do is this. So I'm just going to minimise my presentation. And you'll see here I've created a folder on my desktop called CD Tutorial. And inside CD Tutorial is where I've created a folder called Resources. And inside the Resources folder is where I will put all the other content that I want the, um, the presentation to refer to. So this might be some audio files, some um, video files. In fact, the video I put in here is the video um, of the previous tutorial. Um, and so as you're creating your presentation and your slideshow, collect all the other resources, images, etc. into this one folder. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this. I'm going to reopen my um, presentation here. And I'm going to save it. Currently it's saved as presentation 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is save, save as. And I'm going to save it onto the desktop here. CD tutorial and inside this resources here I'm going to call it so I'm going to call this um, CD package underscore tutorial. Now yesterday I showed you what format to, sh to save it in so again come down to and use the speciality formats what I did yesterday was I showed you how to use the, um, the PowerPoint 97 show PPS but if you use the PPS X one that allows it to demonstrate, it shows us in Mac 2008 as well, whereas, um, and PowerPoint 2007 for Windows. So it gives you a, um, another range, big cross platform, and click save. So now we come to insert our media. So here on the ribbon, you can see we can click on insert media from file. Now I'm going to browse to that. It's here's my CD package tutorial file in resources. Click on PowerPoint. There it is. Here's the video click insert and you can scale it and all the kind of things that you want to do um, but you obviously if this is going to be something that's going to be in a kiosk setup it's going to be set up um, automatically so we come along the ribbon here and we can see all our options over here so over here on the left hand side we've got start on click and obviously we don't want that we want it to be automatic so we click it to play automatically um, and don't forget that we've got the um, slide transitions going on here so we need to make sure we set up slideshow click set up slideshow just make sure that everything's organized here no we want to browse the kiosk loop continually browse the kiosk from one to four use timings if present click OK now um, we took we looked at transitions yesterday um, and so on here we want to um, click on transitions okay duration here okay that's no duration on, on, on this one which is good all right which is all good to go here so that now we've got this package so we just need to test this make sure this works so let's click on slideshow click on here play from current slide this should work um, this is a, another PowerPoint tutorial. Excellent. That looks like it's working. So now what we've got to do is um, just make sure that we've got everything organized the way we wanted to say. So just check on Save As again. 
click down here, see the tutorial, everything's in the same place, package, PowerPoint show, click save, no, no, just cancel, this is all good, cancel, and then come back to slideshow again, just to make sure everything's working, just click on trend, well, you can do all this later, but there we go, yeah, click OK, and now that's done, we have got, we set up our slideshow such that all of these animations will work automatically and on that five second interval and then on this last one this video will run automatically. And the key to it all is to create a package. So once we've done this we can um, add a CD. So I'm adding my CD to my um, to finder here. And we will just close this because we've saved it. Here's my CD. I'm sure you know how to burn, but I just want to show you what to do here. So we click on here. Here's my um, CD folder. We'll just get CD tutorial out of the way. So we open up CD tutorial as well. There's no need to open the entire file. You just copy the two resources because the CD package tutorial video um, um, presentation will be making references to this folder so it's important we drag the folder as well click this onto here close this and we just burn it give it a name And once it's burnt, the CD is then ready to be distributed and played on any PC or computer that, want, that can run um, this, this whole package for you. So hopefully that helps and that's how to create an auto run package on a copy of Office um, 2011 for Mac and then distribute to any machines. Thank mm -hmm. you.